Ladies and gentlemen, hello, this is Debo over at Lansay Go, and I've got another killer deck tech here for you today. But before we move on, if you enjoy our content, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and really is a great way to support our channel for free. And if you don't mind throwing a couple bucks at it, you can go to LanceGo.com and click on that merch tab. We've actually got a lot of really cool merch out there. It's a great way to help support the channel by kicking it back a couple of bucks to us. All right, let's go ahead and get into this deck deck. So what we have here is one I'm calling Soul Tie Pathway, and this is actually a historic updated version of a list that uh, we created a long time ago in Ixalan Standard. And it's a combo deck, but it's also sort of, sort of an aggro deck, and there's a lot of really cool things that we're able to do in historic with some new lands, some new cards, and I think that, that this deck overall performs way better than it did before. So let's go ahead and break down the deck and see what these key combos are. So obviously we've got our removal package. We have two copies of Fatal Push here. Fatal Push is a very good instant speed spell to destroy a target creature if it's converted mana cost is two or less. It's a very good card. It's basically Black's Lightning Bolt. And we do have some ways of, of getting that Revolt Trigger to kill something that's four CMC or less, and that's a couple of Fatal Passages. Now, we are gonna be having a lot of creatures on this battlefield as well, so we do have opportunity to uh, be able to swing out something dies we're then able to kill something big with it later on we are also running two copies of cast down cast down is just a great card it's able to kill some really big threats not legendaries but we have some other answers for that as well we've also got assassin's trophy this is a great way for us to deal with artifacts and enchantments planeswalkers basically anything sure it it's gives our opponent a land but at the time when you cast this you likely would rather them have the land than the thing that you're killing and then we're also going to be running a couple of copies of maelstrom pulse so for three mana it's a sorcery you can destroy target non-land permanent and all other permanents with the same name as that permanent now this is a great way to, again to deal with artifacts enchantments planeswalkers but also creatures or tokens be able to hit this and hit multiple tokens is a really good answer to that threat as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down what the actual combo of this list is. And that's gonna be with Animation Module. So Animation Module is a one mana artifact from Kaladesh that says whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on a permanent you control, you may pay one. And if you do, create a one one colorless servo artifact creature token. Then you can also pay three and tap it to choose a counter on target permanent or player and give that permanent or player another counter of that kind. So what does this mean? How do we combo with this? Well, we actually have two pieces that can combo with this in the deck. We have three copies of Woodland Champion. This is a two mana, two, two, that says whenever one or more tokens enters the battlefield under your control, put that many plus one, plus one counters on Woodland Champion. And we also have Path of Discovery, which is a four mana enchantment that says whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it explores. And if you don't remember what Explore does, it basically you'll look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you get to draw it and put it in your hand. If it's not a land, you can either leave it on top of your library or put it in your graveyard. And then you put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. We're gonna be running a lot of Explore package in this deck, but what's really cool about this is let's say we have an animation module down. We have either a woodland champion or a path of discovery down. We then cast another creature that enters the battlefield. It explores because again, all of our other creatures have an explorer trigger or a plus one plus one counter synergy trigger. A counter then is put on the creature. You then get to pay that one mana for that animation module. You then get a servo creature token and again, that would then put a, tr a counter on the Woodland Champion or the Servo itself would explore with the Path of Discovery. And if you left a non-land permanent on top of your deck, you then just put a plus one plus one counter on that Servo, which then triggers the animation module, which then allows you to keep going through this whole cycle. And what's really cool about this is you play one card, you get a whole board full of two twos or three threes, depending if you have more of these out. Now, what's really insane about this is that means against control decks and things like that, one creature will be able to flood the board, forcing them to really answer it. 
and that allows you to keep all of the cards that you were currently like would normally have to play out in your hand so that way if they board wipe yeah you just do it again the next turn so it's a really really good synergy that has to do with all of this that that really fights against control and, and mid-range and things that are doing like one for one interactions now what are some of the other explore package things that we have in here well they're pretty typical you've got merfolk branch walker we have four copies of that we have four copies of wild growth walker it is insane in this list if it if it survives the turn cycle because again if you have a path of discovery down and then all of a sudden every single one of your tokens that you're creating with your animation module is exploring and that's gaining you a ton of life making your wild growth walkers extremely large it's a very very good combo in this list as well we're also running four copies of jade light ranger now this explores twice so it's a good way for you to be able to get a four three or you can get two lands in your hand you're drawing through your deck it's a it's a very 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 good card uh, we're also running three copies of rishkar pima renegade and what's really interesting about this card is sure you get to put two plus one plus one counters on up to two target creatures that you control and then each creature you control with a counter on it has tap add green to it so that means every single one of your servos that you're creating that has a plus one plus one counter on it now also taps for mana and you can use your servos to create more servos so you can just go really really wide with this deck now we also have a late game finish as well and that's going to be the bio quartz space godzilla or brokos apex of forever so this is a soul tie card uh it's two black green and blue for a six six it's a good top end uh, but really, it's a, a uh, five mana card that you can cast from your graveyard if you mutate it. So you may use that blue to cast it from your hand, or if you're able to explore it to your graveyard, it just becomes a free card in your hand that you can then mutate onto something a little bit later. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this mana base because the mana base is actually really, really interesting. So we are running a couple of basics, not a lot because we are a multicolored deck. We have an island, we have a swamp, we have a forest. Pretty straightforward. We also run Castle Lockthwain for just a little bit of a draw if we can find it. We also have a four Overgrown Tomb for that green black support. We also have Woodland Cemetery for that green black support. Uh, for Sultite, we do also have Zagoth Triome here. And this also adds some additional blue mana to be able to cast that Biocourt Space Godzilla. We don't have a ton of one uh, one mana plays, so this could be a very good turn one play for us. Late game, it also cycles away to be able to draw something else. We are running those Fabled Passages that we talked about earlier. And this is where the deck gets really interesting. We're actually running a single copy of your White Black Pathway, your Grim Klein and Bright Climb Pathway. We're running a single copy of your Murk Water and Clear Water Pathway. And we're running four copies of your Boulder Loft Pathway and your uh, Branch Loft Pathway. So these obviously tap for uh, uh, different colors if you decide to flip them. So here we have one that's for white and black. We have another one, four copies of one that's green and white. And we have a copy that's black and blue. So obviously the blue you can put down if you need it. Uh, but normally you would just play these for the the black side, the green side, or that single blue side, um, or the black side, uh, if you really need that uh, color of mana. But it allows us to open up our sideboard to some really interesting tech. So we've got Thoughtseize here, uh, obviously for dealing with control or dealing with threats that we just normally can't can't deal with with the, the current cards that we have we have three graph diggers cage really good against goblins it's uh, really good against any reanimation strategies which there are a lot of at the moment uh, we also have three Yeheni, which is a very good answer for something that uh, uh, it's gonna have a board wipe because if you're gonna be playing uh, your Yeheni, you swing out uh, you can sacrifice one of your tokens to give it indestructible. They board wipe. You sac uh, it, it then gets a plus one plus one counter whenever a, a creature an opponent controls dies. That then triggers animation module and you get to do the whole thing all over again. We also have a couple of copies of Gym Razor just as an additional support for blowing up artifacts and enchantments. Uh, specifically artifacts trying to kill um, those those. Uh, those mono brown artifact lists that we have out there. Um, it also gives trample, which could be relevant if you need to put it on something like a woodland champion that's really large. Uh, we also have two copies of Vraska because um, we are going wide, having a way of 
Killing our opponent by just hitting them with one token is a really good answer. And we're also running, here's the white source, the Hwatli Radiant Champion. It's a four mana Hwatli. Uh, you put a plus one plus one counter on it for each creature you control. It is very possible that we are able to flood the board with a ton of tokens. We can also uh, neg one to uh, give target creature uh, plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of creatures you control. So it's another way to just force through more damage. Maybe you do that on your, your Brokos. And then you also have a neg eight, which is really good. It says you get an emblem with whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. So talk about support when it comes against a control list. You all of a sudden get her down. And maybe on the turn, you're able to tick her up to eight or nine or 10 loyalty because of all the tokens you created. And then you get to neg down. And then every time you then create a new token, you get to draw additional cards. So really great way to refill. So that's our list. I really, really enjoy this list. It's a lot of fun to play. It's not exactly tier one, but we're looking at maybe a, a tier two, tier 1.5. You're going to win. Uh, quite often with it, and uh, you're, you're going to have some spectacular wins when you do. So again, my name is Debo with LandSayGo.com. Let me know what you guys think about this list. I personally dig it, and I'd love to see what you guys think. Is there something that I'm missing? Is there something that you would add in this list instead? Let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching our content. If you liked our video, you'll probably like these as well. And if you would, please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the description below, you'll find our TCG affiliate link, where you can buy the cards that you need while also supporting us, Lance Lego, and our show.